friends. Today is the day we are recapping my California trip, my budget, how much I spent, and I'm just gonna go through all the numbers and all the things um, with you. And I'll probably edit in some videos and photos that I took just to like keep it fun. So a mix of budgeting and like little clips of my trip. So this is my wallet slash planner that I took with me. I did post a flip through of what I brought and I'll link that up above if you want to see me just talk through it. But this is my Moterm A7 planner that I use as a wallet usually and um, I took it with me on my trip and it worked super well. I was really happy to have it. My boyfriend definitely said things like, wow, this is super helpful like to actually know where we are at with our spending and um, we'll talk more about that. But overall, really, really recommend the setup that I have. I have some few tweaks that I definitely would make in the future for releasing new inserts. So I am noting those and will um, probably update this before my next vacation. So on the 12th is when we flew to California. So, um, and we flew into the SNA airport, which is um, the Santa Ana airport in Orange County. And the reason we did that is because my friend was getting married this day in Temecula and that airport was nearby. So we flew in and we stopped by like a pizza hut to get dinner. And then we went by a grocery store and picked up groceries. And then we went back to the Airbnb and, oh, actually I, I went and saw the bridesmaids and the bride that day because they were doing like a girls get together. So I went by and did that. And then my boyfriend and I got groceries and went back to our Airbnb in Temecula. Um, and then the next day we did um, some winery tours in Temecula. We went to two different places. We went to Callaway Wineries, which was really beautiful. And then we went to Botea, I believe is how it's pronounced, um, for another wine flight. And we got like a cheese board and it was really fun. Um, so that was our big entertainment that day. And then we, our Airbnb had a pool. So we played um, cards uh, by the pool. And we also played darts. And then we got ready and went to the wedding, which was in Temecula, and that was really gorgeous. And then the next day we went to, let's see, we woke up and then we started driving. We went to the coast from Temecula cause it's kind of more inland and we drove up the coast and we went to Laguna beach for like an hour and just like laid out. And then we went to, what's it called? Crystal Cove and just like walked around, got some pretty like Vista views in. And then we stopped by and had drinks. Um, at something called the Beachcomber, which was really fun. And then we made our way to Oceanside to go visit my cousin and her husband. And so we went out to dinner with them. It was her birthday recently. And then we stayed the night with my cousin. And the next day we um, did brunch and we ran some like errands with my cousin. And then we just like sat around and chatted. And then we headed to um, San Diego. <music> When we got to San Diego, we didn't really have any plans. We got there earlier than we thought we would. So we decided to go to Coronado Island. And um, we just took, we found this random ferry that was only like five bucks. And we took the ferry over to Coronado Island and we walked around, found this really cute Italian restaurant, got some really delicious food, um, a slightly disappointing salad, but <laughs> it was still fun. And um, then we went back and had like rooftop drinks um, at our 
uh, hotel's rooftop bar. So that was kind of that day. It's really fun. Oh, and also when we were on Coronado Island, we were walking to this like vista where you can uh, view downtown San Diego. And as we were walking up, someone proposed at this like really pretty picnic area. And so we were literally walking up as he was getting down on one knee. It was like really funny um, and really beautiful. It was like at sunset. So good job to that dude, whoever was proposing that day. <laughs> um, and then the 16th was our day in San Diego. So uh, my boyfriend and I each took a city and planned all the things. So my boyfriend um, had scheduled a trolley tour for us so we could see um, all of San Diego without having to walk at all because we were only there for one day. So we did that. Um, we went to Old Town San Diego and we got some margaritas there, which was really fun. Um, and then he took us to uh, La Jolla. I think that's how you spell it. And we saw the seals on the beaches, which was so cool and climbed in some caves and things. And I'll insert some clips of that. And then we ate at this really awesome taco stand called the taco stand in uh, La Jolla, which was delicious. We both love tacos. Um, and then we had a um, dinner at sunset that overlooked um, the USS Midway out on the harbor or the ocean in San Diego, which was really pretty. So it was at dinner. That was our eight, this was our um, year and a half anniversary as well. And then we found this really, I think I found it, but we found this really cool speakeasy bar um, that had live music. And we went there and had a couple drinks and it was really, really fun and cute. driving kind of up the coast a little bit so we just like got Duncan in the morning and then um we drove um to o back to Oceanside where we saw my friend who had just gotten married so we like said hello to them and then we continued our drive up to um Santa Barbara that's where we are going so we went to Santa Barbara and we just decided to walk around and kind of looked at the different things. There's like a really pretty fig tree there that we saw and walked by the ocean on the pier. And then um, we found this little winery. We did like a wine tasting in Santa Barbara because they have a big wine scene too. So that was really fun. And then we had um, another like Italian dinner on like what is it? Ocean Ave maybe is like the big street there. So just kind of found a random place, ate there. It was really delicious. And then um, we continued driving to Solving or Solving. Um, I forget how to pronounce it. I think it's Solving. And we went to a cute little bar there that was really like fun. And um, I'll definitely insert a picture of that because it was just like this little tiny bar. Um, we got a drink there. And that was kind of it for that day. And 
the next day we ate at this really cute place called Caf Cafe Dolce and it had um, like lots of famous people had gone there, which is funny because we just like randomly found it. We didn't look it up or anything, but it was really, really good. I had like a Nutella waffle. It was just unreal. And then we drove to um, San Luis Obispo or Slow and we got lunch with my friend who lives there. And um, then we went to uh, the Montaña de Oro State Park. And this is where things got interesting because we saw five snakes. We saw five snakes hiking or walking at this state park, five snakes. And one of them, two of them were rattlesnakes, which was disgusting. And I'll show you a video of one of them. And um, the other three snakes weren't, at least two of the other three weren't poisonous or like dangerous, but um, two to three of them, two of them were rattlesnakes and one of them might have been um, venomous. We weren't sure. So anyway, that was really gross. So we left early, went back to my friend's house, and then we went out to dinner in slow. It was called like um, Libertine. That's what it was, Libertine. Um, we went there for dinner with my friends and we just like hung out and it was a great time. And that was the first, like that day. Um, you'll see that my day is really centered around food and drinking because that's like my favorite thing on vacation is trying different foods and drinks that are local to the area. So did that a lot. And then the next day we were um, still with my friends who we stayed with them in outside Slow. And um, that day we woke up and we went to the town of Cambria on the ocean. And we went to this really cute place called Hidden Kitchen um, that serves like blue corn waffles. And so we got waffles and hung out there and walked around and went into some cute shops. And then we went to um, Tooth and Nail Brewery or Winery for a wine tasting and um, got like a cheese board and just like hung out there for a long time. We got a lot of like extra wines and things there. Um, got to taste a lot of different things, which was super, super fun. And then that night we went back and we did uh, kebabs at my friend's place on their grill and we did s'mores as well, which was so fun. So just lots of good quality time with good quality people. <laughs> And then the next day we um, kind of woke up, did breakfast, and then we were driving to Monterey for our last major stop. So we drove to Monterey, ate at this cute sandwich shop, and then this was my city where I got to plan everything. So in Monterey, we um, started by coming in, we got lunch, we walked around a little bit, and then we did the kayak tours, and I am obsessed with otters. Um, and the point of doing it was because you get to kayak with otters and seals and sea lions and you get to like see all the animals like from a safe distance. And um, look at my cute little, this is like the one souvenir I bought was this cute little otter. Can you see it? It's so cute. I love otters. And I also got an otter sticker, which my boyfriend has. I need to get it from him, but oh, they're so sweet. And we saw so many of them and they were so cute. Um, so we did that, which was super fun. So we got to kayak in Monterey Bay. Um, with otters and all the different other wildlife that's out there. It was beautiful. So we did that and then we got ice cream, like really, really terrible ice cream. It was like definitely the low of that day. It was just awful ice cream. So did that and then we went back to our Airbnb, got ready, and then we went out to Cannery Row and um, we got dinner. We walked around outside the aquarium and the place that we ate, you could literally see otters from our table out in the ocean, which was just like unreal, amazing for me. Um, so we did that and then we went to this really cool, um, like jazz bar. They were having jazz night called Pearl Hour and it was a really cute place where we just got some drinks, um, a, a little farther down from Cannery Row and we did that and then we went back and that was kind of that day. <music> Thank you. 
Gerald. And then the next morning was also a day that I planned. So we ate breakfast at the Bagel Kitchen, which is a really cute bagel shop in um, Pacific Grove, I think. We actually stayed in Pacific Grove. Um, and then we went and did a Redwoods train tour. Um, so you can take this really old steam train through a, a Redwoods forest and they're not like, it's not in Sequoia. It's like up in closer to Big Basin. It's like technically Henry Cowell State Park, I think. And so this was called Roar, Roaring Camp. So if you're looking for something fun to do, I can definitely recommend this. It was very affordable and it was an awesome way to see a ton of Redwoods in a really cool way. So you're on this old steam train going up like a small mountain and things and you get to get off at one point and like walk around the trees and take photos and it was just really pretty um so we did that my boyfriend loves trains so I thought that'd be a fun surprise and it was definitely the highlight of the trip I think for both of us and then we went to um Santa Cruz for lunch and just like walked around saw what there was to see there and got lunch and then we went back kind of got ready for dinner and went to Carmel by the Sea which is just like a really cute um area for like food and drinks and shopping so we went to Carmel by the sea and we got cocktails at Terry's Lounge which is part of the Cypress Inn which is um was owned by Doris Day or is owned by Doris Day I can't remember if Doris Day is alive or not I think she died but she owned um the Cypress Inn so Terry's her son and like the bar is called Terry's Lounge so we went there got a drink we also went to um a place called Vesuvio which had a fun rooftop um, happy hour situation going on. So we did that. And then we kind of balled out at dinner and we went to this place called Il, Il Fornai, Fornaio? I don't know how to pronounce it, but it was this really awesome Italian place owned by a, um, a Venice native um, man who like cooks everything. And it was just a really delicious meal. So we did like a wine tasting. So like we had three different wines that we had at dinner. We each got um, our entree and then we also got dessert. So we balled out on that meal because it was kind of like our last big hurrah meal. So that was like Carmel by the Sea day. And then the next day we were just, was kind of like a driving day to get us back to SNA where we flew out of. So we did the 17 mile drive um, in Carmel cause we hadn't done that yet. And then we just drove down highway one. So we went through Big Sur. We, um, you know, took the whole highway one down to like uh, Cambria and we ate lunch again in Cambria. And um, once we got to Cambria, we hopped on the 101 from there and just kind of avoided traffic in LA. And then we made our way back to um, SNA area and we just like ate dinner at a Panera and went to bed and like repacked all our things. And the next day, first thing, we returned our rental car um, and we flew home. And that was the whole trip. So hopefully I found a good way to like put insert clips and things um, throughout while I was talking, but if not, I'll insert a whole montage right now. But that was our trip and it was so, so fun. And so I hope y'all enjoyed hearing about it, but now we'll like go into the actual budgeting of what the trip was like from a money perspective.